What's going on guys? My name is Efren Martinez and welcome back to Efren Nation and today we are not going to be playing an Efren Nation video or doing a reaction video. Today I'm going to be addressing to everybody why I haven't been making videos recently for Efren Nation. So before I get started with that I just want to say thank you everybody who keeps watching my content. I really appreciate it because I put a lot of effort, I put a lot of editing, a lot of recording, a lot of time behind all that just to make content. Before we get started with the video, I just want to thank everybody who watches Efronation because I put a lot of effort behind my content, a lot of recording, a lot of editing, a lot of a lot of stuff that goes behind making a video. I mean, I don't know if you guys could relate, but there's a lot of work that goes behind of making a video. So, you know, I don't really know how to do one of these videos. I mean, I don't know because I mostly just do gaming and that's how I do it naturally, I guess, because I don't really, not necessarily I don't know how to talk, but like I don't know how to address something properly or correctly but i just been busy with work pretty much like i just been galloping horses and you know i had my first race this year uh last month two months ago if i'm correct i just haven't had any luck recently i mean sometimes you win some you lose some but i mean that's part of racing that's part of you know doing sports sometimes you win some but sometimes you don't but when you don't that's when you learn something you know either how to perform better or like just better strategy or whatever just you learn when you lose, but when you win, you just have to keep, you know, trying your best every time you go out there. And that's what I like to do. I always try to put my best in everything that I do, whether if it's like horse racing or when it's making, you know, content like this, making YouTube videos. But I really like doing YouTube videos because it helps me escape reality. Not that I want to escape reality whatsoever, but it just makes me feel like being in a part of a different world. You know, like I get to express myself. I get to have fun. I get to entertain fans and that's what i like to do i just like to do all those kinds of stuff because that's i don't know what it is but it's just something that i feel natural at doing and that's what a lot of people try to do nowadays they like to make youtube videos but like they kind of struggle and like you could say i'm following not necessarily in the same footsteps but i kind of go down the same path as them because i don't want to be struggling like n like necessarily i remember back then i used to make videos then I apologize for not making videos like a month or two months ago and make videos again. Stop making videos for a month, come back, make videos, stop for like two months, come back, make more videos. And like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have that same problem that I had because I like making a lot of videos. But like my problem was at the time, I just didn't know how to be more professional to myself. Like I need to have a schedule. I need to know how to, you know, make videos, know when to make recordings, know to make editings, know to... Do all this and that because that's what YouTube is all about. That's not what a lot of people understand it. To me, I'm still understanding. I'm still learning the YouTube world. I'm still learning the YouTube community and all that. How to be a better editor, better creator, better entertainer. I just hope everybody could understand what I'm trying to go through. Not long ago, you know, you could say I was, you know, having fun with a girl. You know, like I thought I had something real going with a girl. But I don't know. I guess it's not really working. Or I don't know what, how I would describe it. But... You know, it didn't really work out and it kind of sucks because everybody at least wants to experience, you know, fun or, you know, at least wants to experience peace with someone. And that's something that I want to try to capture, even though I'm 19, I'm not, I'm pretty young and I don't know why I should be dealing with this. But I just thought, you know, I see a lot of people do it like, you know, like a lot of couples out there and stuff like that. And it kind of sucks because I want to experience, you know, stuff like that. And unfortunately, you know, I didn't really have any luck and, you know, it's it sucks when nobody wants to accept you for who you are. And that's. That's how the world is nowadays. Nobody wants to want. Nobody wants the real you. Like they always want to portray a fake personality, put on a fake smile, and all that. No, like you should always be yourself. You should always be you. And I guess why one of the reasons why I haven't been making views recently is because, you know, like I'll be talking to a girl, I'll I'll be thinking that something real is going, and suddenly she just stops talking to me or, or something like that. And you know, she pretty much just plays with my mind. She plays with my feelings, and it sucks because I don't want to experience that. And so I'll be, I won't be in the right, the right mind of set or the right stage of mind, whatever that phrase is called. But I just can't, you know, make YouTube content because I'll be feeling sad. And I don't know why I keep doing that kind of stuff, even though I know what's the outcome of it. I don't know why I keep experiencing that. Like, you sh I should have known better than that. Like, I should always have chosen what's best for me. Like, I know there's always going to be girls out there, which, you know, that's true. But, like, I just thought that I could have at least fun if I could, but, you know, I guess I just can't because the way how 
I've been treated, you know, like I shouldn't be involved with that. If that's how I'm going to be treated, I should just focus on what's best for me. Like, for example, like Afro Nation, like when I like to do ACW with my friends and, you know, travel the world to do backyard wrestling, because there's just something about that that takes my mind away from all that stress, all the all the stuff that I'm dealing with in my personal life. I just get to take a break from all that, just make YouTube videos and have fun. And that's the kind of lifestyle I want to try to experience. Like, I just want to make content videos and pretty much entertain everybody because I want to have fun and, you know, be goofy and all that. I want to entertain you guys and I just want to have fun. That's why I created Afro Nation. Afro Nation should be, like, I created Afro Nation because I feel like Afro Nation should be a community for everybody. Everybody who has been left out, who everybody, like, everybody who has been left out. Because, I mean... I'm pretty sure everybody can relate. Everybody has been, like, left out, whether if it's, like, to a party, whether if it's, like, you know, gaming trip or whatever. Like, everybody has been left out at one point, and everybody can relate, you know, that pain, and nobody likes to experience that. And I had a good friend of mine. He He's also a YouTuber, and he makes YouTube content, and he hasn't been really truthful with himself because he's been like struggling he's been struggling uh, mentally because he's just been going through a lot of stuff that has affected him through the past people you know always talk crap about him how like he likes to do his own stuff how he likes to make his youtube videos and stuff like that and you know he reached out to me like it was it was really something nice that he did that because you know that's what friends afford you know sh you should never experience something by yourself like if you ever feel terrible or sad or just don't know what to do and you feel awful always reach out to somebody whether if it's a friend a family member like somebody that you think that you could trust try to talk to them because it's better to have your voice heard than you know be left in in the quietness left in the darkness i guess i don't know if that's a good analogy but always talk to someone like always have someone one thing i want to address is that i think like in a month i'm planning to go back to iowa for the third time and i'm planning to you know, hopefully everything goes well with my jockey career. Hopefully I get to start racing in the tracks. And that's something I'm really, I'm really looking forward to because, you know, as a kid, you know, I grew up, I grew up watching my dad racing and, you know, being a, being able to race, like how, I, how I saw my dad race, like that's phenomenal, you know, like father and son, you know, I guess you could say like, I kind of stand out because I don't really, you know, fit in what other people do. You know, I just like to be unique. I like to be different. And somehow I want to try to like, whenever I can, if I can, like, I want to try to make, like, content, like, like, if I could make vlogs, or I could make, like, you know, some short videos of, like, what's going through the life of Efren Nation in Iowa, like, I want to try to, like, make videos of those, whether it's, like, a GoPro video, an interview video, or even just making gaming videos in general, because, you know, that's what I like about YouTube, and is people that make gaming videos, because they get to just feel like they're not even making videos, like, they just feel like playing video games and expressing themselves, re reacting to whatever they're experiencing, and just pretty much experiencing the the journey throughout the the gameplay because that's what video games is all about you get to experience a journey whether it's you know good story or bad story like you get to experience that and sometimes the story would be so good that you know it brings a tear to your eye like red dead redemption 2 like that story like red dead like what can i say like that was a phenomenal game but anyways one thing i want to go back to is that i wasn't feeling good i wasn't like in the right place because you know, I, I kind of feel like I deal with, like, a lot of loneliness because the way I, I feel left out because not a lot of people like me, if that makes sense. Like, sure, I like to, you know, be this Efren character or whatever, but, like, they just don't like to hang out with me. I don't know why. I mean, sure, like, I act differently and all stuff like that, but in reality, I'm just, you know, trying to put, I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. I just want to have people having fun. Like, they don't have to, like, worry about anything. And it kind of sucks when you're trying to cheer up everybody, but there's nobody to cheer you up. Like, damn, like, what? Like, damn, that's awful. You know, like, I'm pretty sure some people could relate because you're that class clown. You're that, you know, goofy guy that always likes to make everybody laugh and all that. But by the time you get home from work or school, whatever, you feel sad because you feel empty because nobody's there to bring you back up. But you just sometimes have to do it yourself. And, you know, that's what I like about Afro Nation. That's what I liked about when I was... When I get to do YouTube videos because I get to express myself. I get to be natural. I get to, you know, talk to you guys. You know, that's how I try to communicate with the fans as much as I can. Because the fans is what's important to, you know, the creators. Because they're putting out these content. They're producing and editing and putting out. And that's what YouTube is all about. It's entertainment. It's a good entertainment platform. Anyways, I, like, I felt sad about this girl. Which, you know, I shouldn't have. Like, come on, like. Afro Nation shouldn't be crying over a girl. It shouldn't be, like, feeling down because of a girl or treating him badly. But, anyways, WrestleMania, it was WrestleMania weekend. And, 
I got to watch WrestleMania, and what can I say? It was like quite a ride. Like it cheered me up. It made me feel like a kid again. And after watching WrestleMania, that got me thinking. I got to go to WrestleMania. I've been to Raw. I've been to SmackDown. I've been to an AEW show. Now I got to go WrestleMania. Come on, like imagine Afro Nation at, at WrestleMania, and that's what I want to announce. Afro Nation is going to a WrestleMania. Mark my words. 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 No word. Words. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes my words get the better out of me. Sometimes the brain is smarter than me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of you could relate. How long do the characters stay in your head? Do they ever leave? Christian Bale. <laughs> no, but anyways, WrestleMania, like after watching wrestling that weekend, like, you know, it brought me back up. Like, I shouldn't be worried about a girl. I shouldn't be stressing all this and that. I should be focusing what's best for me. Like, Triple H, what's best for business? And that's what I got to do. Like, I just got to do what's right for me, no matter... If people don't like it, well, I'm not trying to, like, piss them off or anything. I'm just trying to, you know, do what's right for me. And it's not being selfish if you're trying to do what's right for you. That's called self-interest. And I know that sounds cocky and all that, but, you know, that's just what helps motivate me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people could use that reference where, you know, just because you're saying cocky stuff and all that, just because you're doing this and all that and and other people don't like that, doesn't mean you're trying to be cocky. Doesn't mean you're trying to be selfish. You're just doing that because that helps you motivate yourself. That helps you get through whatever you're going through. No, but you know, I made this video so people could understand what I'm trying to say, what I'm going through recently. And you know, I'm not doing this. I made this video because I want a lot of people to understand what I'm going through and like how I'm feeling. And you know, I don't, I don't really want to suffer. You know, making videos and stop making videos, making videos, stop making videos. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want that to be a habit. And that. That's something I want to try to break even if I know I have to take a break like I'll try to make an announcement of it Or like I'll give you a video and at the end of the video I'll be saying, you know, hey, I'm gonna be taking a week off or something like that You know just so the fans could be aware of what's going on But you know, I'm not going anywhere like Efra Nation will always be Efra Nation Efra Nation forever together That's the campaign for Efra Nation Efra Nation is a unit is a nation where everybody gets together, but I'll try to figure out a slogan but I really want that to be like the idea of Efra Nation where it's us together forever and it goes passed down to generations, you know, when I have kids and whatnot. But I just want to thank everybody who watched this video. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say and, you know, how I'm expressing my thoughts and my feelings to you guys. I love you guys. Like, even if this video doesn't get a lot of views, like for those who actually watch this video, like I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really am thankful for everybody who watches my content, especially you know from the past who was there since the beginning i want to thank everybody who watched my content so what can i say i will see you in the next video i would do my i would do my very best so thank you guys stay safe stay badass and always stay too sweet